Do you want a comedy? And we get the fuck out of here. Guys. <laughs> Let's bring out the headliner. Oh, let's sing, everybody. Wow. Give it up, everybody. Probably coming to some comedy tonight. Ramsey is down. Lauren Farmer. Hopi. Evan Cassidy. Ian Hale. It's lovely to be here in Hesperia. I don't know where I am. It's nice to be here. <laughs> I didn't drive, I think I got kidnapped. I don't know where we're going. But I feel good, I feel, feel, uh, feel medicated. Yeah. You guys got like a little bit cleaner air than us in, in LA. Like LA's kind of smoggy, you guys got like, ooh, is that Colorado I see over there? Where am I? We just go east? Where did our road? More than 10? More than 15? 15. Dirty one five, baby. <laughs> Is that a t-shirt? Let's make that a t-shirt. <laughs> For babies. <laughs> From the dirty one five. <laughs> that was uh, your Drake moment of the night, everybody. <laughs> um, I'm a brown person. Cool. <laughs> Two types of thank you very much. <laughs> Two types of brown, my dad's Indian and my mom's Iranian, so technically I'm Pakistani. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't work, I agree. <laughs> Brand new. <laughs> you excited about that one? Is that what you read? You read uh, New R. Robin? We are Robins! Oh, Opie. Opie just said a joke about how black people can't read, and I couldn't read it. Did I say brown? I meant black. I'm brown. We are Robin. Is that yours? That's the one you, that's the one you, two? You just read it like, oh, Robin. Get back in that cave. <laughs> I went on a date recently, because I'm single. <laughs> Been single for the last year and a half now, because I'm still sleeping with my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> and I don't want to mess that up, it's pretty great. <laughs> went on a date recently, and uh, we were, she was in my car, and we were driving, and then she just turns to me super excitedly and goes, Oh my god, guess what I just bought? I was like, what? Because I wanted to reach her level of excitement, you know? I don't want to just leave her hanging. She's in my car. I don't know her. I was like, what? And she said, I just bought a magic bullet. Do you guys know what a magic bullet is? It's a little blender. It's something you used to like, make like salsa. Not like salsa. Sorry, Opie. Something you used to make salsa. <laughs> but she said it so excitingly, and I'd never met her before. I thought that she got a magic because <laughs> that's what that sounds like. I was like, "Wow, that's so hot." She's sharing with me right now. I'm gonna share with her now. <laughs> I was like, you just bought a magic bullet? Well, I just got a flashlight. <laughs> She's like, what's a flashlight? Oh, you don't know what a flashlight is? A flashlight's a fake vagina <laughs> that you jack off into to save money on dates. I was like, why are you telling me? I was like, because you just told me that you got a magic bullet. He's like, I use my magic ball in the kitchen. I was like, whoa! <laughs> We're gonna get along. <laughs> I have a small penis. Where are my small penis people at? We got small penis people. No one's surprised. Come on. Indian, Iranian, comedian? No. Nobody goes, that guy's got a huge dick. No one's, 
No one's ever said that about an Indian person. No one's ever said, look at that Indian guy's huge penis. No one said that. They usually say, look at that Indian guy's huge family. That's what they usually say. As they go to work and it's, I was about to say 7-Eleven. <laughs> A, a woman's never told me I have a small penis. I know I have a small penis because I've seen my penis. <laughs> People don't even tell you when you have some shit on your face. You can have shit on your, like literal shit. I don't mean like walk a movie. I mean poop. You can have poop on your face and someone will just go, oh, that's, like they won't say anything. We're so nervous. We're so nervous. We're so nervous. No one's gonna say, hey, you got some shit up in your <laughs> A woman asked me once, she's like, so how small is your penis? I was like, well, it's four to five inches smaller than I want it to be, that's all. <laughs> uh, travel a lot, I just went to Kansas. If you've never been to Kansas, <laughs> go to McDonald's. Buy two Oreo McFlurries, give them to whoever raised you, and say thank you for never taking me to Kansas. <laughs> if you have been to Kansas, this is exactly what it's like. Go to the optometrist, put your head up against that machine that puffs air in your eye, where you see green on one side, green on the other, and then a barn really far away. That's Kansas. I was performing at one of these barns. <laughs> and I asked somebody, hey, what do you guys do for fun around here? And he said, uh, sometimes we go behind the Subway restaurant and we drink. <laughs> I was like, why? He's like, I don't know. It's just nice to smell the bread. I'm like, that's the saddest thing <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> Kansas needs a Kickstarter, that's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> the whole state of Kansas, get them some go-karts. There's like nine people in there, four of them work at one Olive Garden. <laughs> you guys know what Olive Garden is? <laughs> is it Olive Garden It's a valid question. It's a valid question. I'm sure you guys have like Giuseppe's. <laughs> Luigi's. <laughs> Magiano. <laughs> oh God, no, you gotta go to fucking Barstow for that. <laughs> Is Barstow around here? I don't know, I don't know where we are. I have no idea where you people came from. <laughs> We've never met before. <laughs> What's the HD stand for in HD Comics? I did. Fuck yeah, thank God. <laughs> I was so scared it was high definition. <laughs> Do these guys think they have high-definition comics? <laughs> we got some 4K comics! <laughs> high desert. That's nice. It's a very nice feeling out here. It's so calming. I don't know if you want that all the time. I guess some people you know, want a little chaos in your life or whatever. That's where, like, you know, video games and shit comes into play. Right? <laughs> conflict out here, right? Like, what's the biggest problem in this area? It's definitely not parking, right? You guys... <laughs> That's the biggest problem in LA. Problem number one, LA, parking. <laughs> you guys have a parking problem? It's doing better. <laughs> $64 if you get a parking ticket in LA. If, and it used to cost, uh, it cost it a quarter a minute ago. That meter was a quarter for like 10 minutes and now I'm late to my meter by three minutes, and that's sixty-four dollars. <laughs> I don't graduate from college, but I don't think that makes any sense. <laughs> How did you multiply that? <laughs> what math did you use to get from a quarter to sixty-three? <laughs> Those khakis can't cost sixty-three dollars. What is the expenses? It was because I was taking a poop. That's why I was late. That's why I missed my meter. I had... It would have cost less if I would have taken a shit in the street. And wiped my face. I tried mushrooms for the first time. 
did it right before a flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go big or go home. <laughs> I did it, and I went to the airport, and I found out the TSA, just complete bullshit. <laughs> They're not doing anything to protect anybody. Just a bunch of Best Buy employees we share with that. <laughs> I went to the first lady, I gave her my ID and my ticket, and my ID had really long hair and no glasses. And just to be funny, I wanted to say, that doesn't look like me. <laughs> but instead I said, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> she looked back at me, she's like, what? I was high on mushrooms. So my brain said, say it louder. <laughs> That's not me! <laughs> she responded with, ha, 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 ha. She signed my paper and let me go. <laughs> I don't do anything scary at the airport, though. I do like to see how far I can walk away from my luggage. That's a fun game. <laughs> my record right now, five gates. That's how far. <laughs> Needed that Popeyes. <laughs> it's funny when it's a true story, but not funny. <laughs> I really did want Popeyes. <laughs> Popeyes is doing a $5 box right now. <laughs> but their regular price is nine. The, I, ordered, I went to Popeyes today. I'm not getting off this subject. I went, to Popeyes. I went, you know what? I went to Popeyes today. <laughs> That's advertising that would work. I think just a, fuck that lady who's the chef. I think a brown guy coming out and going, you know what? I went to Popeye's. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to a toilet. <laughs> I went to Popeye's today. <laughs> I went to Popeye's. And I was like, hi, can I get a number six? And she's like, you can get a number six. Or, you can get this thing, we're doing a $5 box. There's everything in the number six. It's four dollars cheap. It's like, then why is six still up there? <laughs> is that like your enemy or something? You're just not gonna tell them about the five dollar box? <laughs> Ex-girlfriend walks in like, oh, this bitch, I'm not telling her anything about that five dollar box. She's got a five dollar box. <laughs> That's what Tony said. <laughs> Tony Popeye. Classic American names. We got any Tonys in the house? Any Anthonys? Cool. It was like roulette. I was just going, <laughs> it was like one number out of 30. I bet there's someone named Double Zero in here. My baby. She infinite. No, she's an infant. Nah, she infinite. I uh, was talking to my mom about politics, and I was like, Mom, who do you want to be president? She's like, I don't care, it's all fake. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, I am your son, this is great. <laughs> I was like, but Mom, what if like the bad fake wins? What if like the, the guys who are like mean win, <laughs> and they like outlaw abortion? What do you think about abortion? She's like, well, I guess I'm for it, because I had one. I was like, whoa! <laughs> I didn't actually do that. <laughs> I was shocked. This was this year. This was like a couple weeks ago. I was like, Mom, how come you never told me they had an abortion? She's like, well, there's never really a good time to tell your kid. I can't be like, okay, you know what? Have a great first day at school. By the way, you could have had an older brother. <laughs> so go home and ask your parents. You never know what you might find out. It's like, have you... You robbed a bank before long? <laughs> How many questions do I need to ask you? <laughs> do you love me? <laughs> Never ask her that. Because I know the answer. <laughs> we have a miniature Maltese. I know she loves the miniature Maltese. Her name's Frosty. You ever seen the movie The Good Son? Elijah Wood, Macaulay Culkin. 
They're like hanging from a ledge, your mom's holding them. Yeah. One of them's a bad kid, one of them's a good kid. She drops the bad kid, saves the good kid. It stuck with me. <laughs> I asked my mom once, I was like, Mom, if me and Frosty were hanging, <laughs> who would you let go? She went, oh, I'd let go of you. <laughs> because the dog just wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the abortion story. <laughs> so she told me she had an abortion, and I was like, so tell, what's the story behind this, Mom? She's like, okay, so I was 24, I just moved to this country with your dad, we were living in Chicago, and he got me pregnant, I didn't want to have the baby, he didn't want to have the baby, so we went to the clinic, I sat in an office, the nurse came in, she said, put on one of these aprons, and there was four aprons on the wall, there was a blue one, a red one, a yellow one, and a green one, and I put on one of each apron, and then the nurse came back in and said, Why are you wearing four aprons? And I said, Because you told me to put on one apron. And then I got an abortion. That's how she told that story. That's all she remembers. That's all she remembers. Before she... I was just happy to know that I wasn't my mom's least favorite. You know? <laughs> We're out of there. We made it out. <laughs> so Christmas is coming. <laughs> only, right? It's actually funny that Memorial Day is coming up. <laughs> Maybe not to you guys. <laughs> me, me neither. Maybe. I agree with you. That's what we call stretch. You guys are amazing, by the way. Just so you know, huh? I was expecting just you. Like, <laughs> I was expecting this guy and then uh, chairs. <laughs> But this is amazing. This is very, you guys are doing something incredibly cool. Give it up for Ian, everybody. That was, a, that was a lot of applause, so I could leave on that. <laughs> or was that just an applause for Ian? Yeah, Ian. Yeah. Okay. Half and half. <laughs> Three quarters. <laughs> I, uh, I'm trying to lose some weight. Uh, my friends told me I should take Krav Maga. Have you heard of this? It's like Israeli self-defense. It's like karate for Jews. <laughs> but I'm not Jewish, I'm Indian, so I want to know what the Indian version is. I bet it's just a lot of, like, no. <laughs> I was in New York recently, and while I was there, I went to the gym. <laughs> Gone to the gym six times now, I think I'm done. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Why go back? <laughs> Finished at the gym, and I went to the subway station, and I saw my train coming, and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna make you train. I'm gonna get on this train. Swipe my little card, start running towards the train, and the doors started to close. This is when I decided to use my nice Indian brain right here and come up with a plan as to how I'm going to get on to this train. <laughs> this is what I came up with. This is what I came up with. I'm going to take my gym bag, I'm going to fling it. <laughs> it's going to get stuck between the doors. The doors aren't going to close, they're going to open. I'm going to walk on this train like a boss. <laughs> that was the plan. This is what actually happened. <laughs> I took my gym bag, I flung it. In the plan, I wanted to hold on to my bag, but because of the momentum, I kind of let go. My bag went into the train, the doors closed. <laughs> and I didn't make it onto the train. <laughs> I didn't make it onto the train. For those of you who aren't following along yet, a sweaty Arab just ran up to a train. <laughs> took a black duffel bag, threw it onto a train, 
and let the doors close. <laughs> So now I'm standing outside the train, going, no! Which, if you can't hear what I'm saying, looks a lot like, Allah! Thank you all very much. You've been amazing. Thank you.